Welcome back to 5 Minutes STEM. Today we're going to be going over image segmentation in MATLAB. So segmentation is essentially the process of taking an image or multiple images and dividing them into multiple segments, making it easier for whoever to analyze the image and make it more meaningful to them. All right, so I'll just be showing you a few techniques on how to accomplish this using a couple different images. So let's get started. Let's start off with A equals I am read. We'll call the image rice.png. We'll show the original image. This is the first way that I'll show you. So we'll take the image A greater than 128. So that's essentially, you know, half of the pixels. X label. This is threshold. Threshold one. And then this is going to be the other way that you could do it. B equals I am two B W A and then 0 0.5. Threshold two. All right, now let's run it. All right, so this was the original image. This is the first technique that we use. So the I am show A is greater than 128, and then threshold to 0 0.5. All right, let's just try it with another image. Um, the other image will be thumbprint.tif. And yeah, that's all I have to change, I think. All right, so again, this is the original, and these are the two different threshold methods. They're very similar. All right, now let's use it on this paper image that I have. And for this one, we're gonna have to change the threshold values because the values, um, otherwise it wouldn't show up. All right, so this was the original. And if we had it at 0.5, you wouldn't even see all of this. I'll actually show you that. So let's put it back to 128 and the 0.5. And see, you can't really see anything. All right, so that's how you change the threshold values. All right, now we're gonna take a look at a couple other methods. So again, a equals I am read. This time we'll use a circles.png image. B equals BW morph. A, and then this is going to be thin. Figure subplot one, two. 
I am show a and title original. And we have subplot one, two, two. I am show B. And this is just called thinning. All right, you can see that the thinning is a little bit thinner in some areas. Let's thicken. And now here it's a little bit thicker in a couple areas, but not too much difference. All right, so now let's try removing. This will hopefully see a little bit more of a difference. All right, all you see is the outline of the objects but it removed most of the interior color. All right, and then I'll show one more, which is skeletonization. So for that, you do S-K-E-L, and then I-N-F. All right, so this is basically a skeleton of all these objects, just using lines. So when you think of an actual skeleton, a human skeleton, you don't see all the skin, which is all the white filled in. It's just the bones of the image. All right, so there you have it, just a few examples of segmentation. And again, this was using the image processing toolbox in MATLAB. Alright, so thanks for watching and catch the next video.